Hi friends, it's Sachidanan. Today uh, we will see how to migrate already created virtual machines from VMware workstation into our newly created Oracle virtual box. Okay. Uh, so let's begin. For creating a new uh, machine, just go to the machine, create a new machine, okay, then provide the name. Leave it as a Linux, okay, and Ubuntu 64. Click on next click on next 1gb is more than enough and here we have to select use an existing virtual disk and click on browse okay add click on add and go to the path of uh, vmware virtual machines okay this is a vmdk file uh, because it is created with uh, vmware virtual uh, uh, software so the extension is vmdk click on ok ok then click choose it will show us then click on create ok the virtual machine is now added then click on start to power on the virtual machine Okay, we are logging into our server. Okay, the currently IP is not shown because uh, there is a nomenclature difference between VMware and VirtualBox. Also, there is a major difference is MAC ID because uh, MAC ID is universal, it's unique. So, uh, after migrating to Oracle VirtualBox, the MAC ID will be also changed. So, we have to make changes uh, into our server okay and it's an ubuntu 19 so we have there is a different network configuration so we have to edit slash etc net plan okay that is a new network configuration here the net card is shown here ens 33 and in our current scenario it will be different okay so just press in if config okay it will shows you only hello because the uh, card uh, nomenclature is mismatched there to see the current uh, nick card which is configured just press hyphen a 
okay so it will show us ENP 0 S 3 so we have to mention this network card Okay, ENP 0 S3. We keep it as a DSCP. After uh, doing changes, we have to give command net plan apply to apply the changes. Okay, then restart the network service. Okay. Now the IP address is taken. Okay, the default uh, NAT IP address uh, is 10.0.2.0 series in virtual box. Okay, it's uh, pingable to outside world but it will not ping from our localhost because there is a concept ok its uh, IP address is 10.0.2.15 uh, we have to access it from the localhost ok it will not accessible So we have to make some changes in our network. Okay. So go to the tool, then preferences. Here there is a network tab. Okay, I have to create already. So I remove it. Okay, here uh, we have to add the new network go to the edit you can give network name as you want ok you take it as a net, net at network 1 and the range is as I say 10.0.2.0 24 ok here we have to mention the port forwarding ok we are using IPv4 so just click on add is a room number 1 the actual guest SSH port is 22 Okay, and the, we have to mention the guest server IP address which is 10.0.2.15 in our scenario and the host port okay, from the local machine we have to access it so we have to mention some port so you can give it 2222 you can give it uh, whatever the number you want click on ok ok and ok now go to the server click on network you have to say the NAT network it will automatically uh, there is only one network present so take it as a NAT network ok cable is connected and click on ok Now from localhost, we have to take port as a 2222 and as a host name, we have to mention the loopback address, it's 127.0.0.1. Okay, now we are able to access our server from local.
so as you see uh, we are successfully migrated the virtual machine from VMware to our virtual box and also configured the port forwarding to access it from our local machine okay there is a different concept in virtual box for netting purpose okay I hope you enjoy the video and it's helpful to you if you like the video just click on like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon so you will get the further notification if you have any suggestion so just comment uh, in the comment box okay thanks uh, for watching bye